Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. With this quote, a very cheerful good morning to respected father, principal, sisters, teachers, and all my dear friends. I, Raj Gorvatsal from Standard 10 C, is here with my fellow classmates to conduct today's digital assembly. It is very unique that we are gathering here in this digital assembly due to this COVID-19 pandemic. Prayer is the link which connects us to the Almighty. So let's start our assembly with a prayer song. There shall be showers of blessings. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons refreshing sent from the Savior above. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy drops round us are falling, but for the showers we plead. There shall be showers of blessings, send them upon us, O Lord. Grant to us now a refreshing, come and now honor thy word. Showers of blessings, showers of blessings we need. Mercy robes round us are falling, but for the showers we plead, but for the showers we plead. Now I would like to invite our Honorable Father Principal for the prayer. Happy morning, my dear students. Let us begin this day with a small prayer. Almighty God, source of life, we worship and praise you. You are the truth and origin of all knowledge. Bless us that we may study well, obey our parents and teachers, and be honest in our behavior. Lead us from darkness to light. Bless our studies and enlighten our intellect. Grant us the grace to seek truth and make us truly wise. Now, how we can forget our school which polishes our personality and gives us a unique identity? Now, I invite my classmates for the school anthem. Scenes of a childhood, scenes of a youth, scenes of a childhood, scenes of a youth, the school we love and cherish here, the school we love and cherish Preparing us for life's rough swings, preparing us for life's rough swings. Since Davis forever we will cheer, since Davis forever we will cheer. God bless our dear old school, God bless our dear old school. Of our principal father teachers all. Our principal father teachers all. Our playmen students. All other friends are playmen students. All other friends who will write our names in mortar. Who will write our names in mortar. Send Xavier's forever meet a friend. Send Xavier's forever meet a friend. God bless you is a daily prayer. God bless you is a daily prayer. We come to school with a certain aim to be something in life. And for this, we have to focus solely on our studies. So now, I would like to call Ishika Rajoya to explain us the values of focus. Morning, respected father principal, sisters, teachers and all my dear friends. Practice makes a man perfect with this beautiful thought. I, Ishika Rajoria of Center 10C, is standing before you to speak on a topic values of focus. Being focused means that you have to clear your goal and your work is being dedicated to achieve your goals. When you decide what you are going to do in any given situation, you base your decisions on how you can make the most progress towards your goals with the time and resources available. 
So, word of advice for those who want to have complete control on their focus. That is, while doing an activity, they should must aware about their focus. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Thank you, Ishika. Pen and writing has the power to touch the heart and the soul of the reader. But sword is linked with bloodshed, which is my dear. Kiran Kewal Ramani will tell us. Good morning, respected father, principal, sister, teachers and all my dear friends. This is Kiran Kewal Ramani of 10th C going to speak on a very famous saying, Pen is mightier than the sword. Sounds funny, right? But wait, it's true. What you can do with a pen, you can't imagine it doing with a sword. The pen might look small and petite but has immense power filled in. Hundreds of scholars, poets, artisans can write down their thoughts and can reach hundreds of hearts and souls. In a war, the sword can win by bloodshed and loss but the pen can win by love and willingness. History is filled with the importance of the pen but people still argue about it. In the end, I would like to say that no matter how the small pen is but its impact is way more bigger. Even after many argues and debates, the power of the pen cannot be overlooked. In the end, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your patience listening and have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you, Kiran. First wave of COVID attacked India last year, but it was not much horrible than the second one. Now, Ansari Bilkis Banu will enlighten us about the second wave of COVID-19. Hello everyone, thanks for being here. Myself, Ansari Bilkis Banu of Class 10 I am here to say few lines on second wave of coronavirus. The second wave of coronavirus infection has been spreading very fast, which has caught the medical institutions also. During the first wave of coronavirus that we have experienced last year, on an average of 150 suspected cases every day. But this time, the number of the suspected cases has crossed 300 every day for the past few days. The viral strain may also be the reason for the widespread of this virus. But this time the people do not have that luxury. People who are getting to be normal are getting out of control within an hour because of the dyspnea that is the shortage of breath. And death are taking place within no time. The OP departments of the government hospitals has shut down to minimize the spread of the coronavirus. There is a considerable data of having vaccination. Vaccination protects us from the multi state. If we get COVID-19, we risk our life of the loved ones. So, getting vaccination of the coronavirus is a good idea. That is the good goal we have. So, stay home, stay safe and contribute a little bit in the fight against the coronavirus. Thank you, Milkisban. An oath is a way to make us aware about our duties towards the nation and the society. Now I invite Pooja Ma'am to lead us with the pledge. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall respect my parents, teachers and all my elders and treat everyone with courtesy. I pledge my devotion to my country and its people. My happiness lies in their well-being and prosperity. Thank you, Pooja Ma'am. On behalf of the speakers and the students, I would like to thank our Honorable Father Principal for giving us an opportunity to conduct this digital assembly. So, lastly, we will conclude our digital assembly with the national anthem. So, stay home, stay safe, wear masks and have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.